Arnold out of the gun. Passes downfield, the man wide open. He is in the end zone for a touchdown. Jawan Tyus. The Bulldogs don't want to be in. Adams will pitch to Wallace, and he's dumped in the backfield. That's Brandon Dowdell, the senior from Georgia. For Arnold and the Mox. Lofts one, and that is caught. Along the left sideline, that's Jefferson, Reg, excuse me, Henderson, Reggie Henderson. Give is to Appleberry. And the Bulldogs, the gang tackle. See a group of blue jerseys rallying to the football. And it looks like a, a flag came in late on the far sideline. That's a big penalty on the Citadel. That's McKinnon. Now back out. Arnold back to pass. Scrambling along the left sideline. Makes something out of nothing. Well, he just took a pretty hard hit from one of his own players on the sideline. And you saw a late, late flag, flag come in. And now some pushing and shoving. Hit that Arnold took from one of the staff members over on his own sideline. He dropped hard to the ground. And it looks like they're going to get Hatchet for a shove there. I don't know if he did enough to get a personal foul, but we'll find out. So another personal foul. It'll be Price. He's got the first down and more inside the five down to the four-yard line. Said the give is to Price. Skips his way in for the touchdown. Boy, and the Citadel had a chance to bring him down inside the five. I think it was the safety, Parrish Gordon, who came up and had him lined up at about the three. Third and eight. Injoku has a lead block in Wallace, and he'll pick up the first down. Tremendous effort from Nakem Injoku. Adams on the keeper. He's got enough for the first. And that's what it takes out of a triple option quarterback. And Adams back to pass. Fires over the middle and completes to Raleigh Webb. Out if they can't convert here. Third and six. Adams keeps it himself. He's got the first down and more. All the way down to the two. Jalen Adams. Adams on the keeper. He's in for the touchdown. That's a big counter from the Bulldogs. They were down 14 to nothing. Chattanooga had the football. They got a stop on defense. Great game last week against Wofford. Fires to the right side and wide open. He's got a man. Price in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And finds a hole before he's finally dragged down by Andy Davis for the mocks. Arnold, back to pass. Looks for the middle of the field, and he's got a man. And finally brought down along the 15-yard line. Made from 26 last week against Wofford, missed from 40. This one is up and good. Draw him offside, and the Citadel did a good job, pardon me, of staying disciplined. To throw, Arnold. And intercepted. That's Destin Mack. And now the officials are running in to call it incomplete. And, and fourth down. And so they'll get the ball at about the 31-yard line. If that was intercepted, they would have had it back inside the 25. So you'll take the fact that that hit the ground. Adams back to pass. Going deep. He's got a man in and out of the arms of Raleigh Webb. Down conversion. Appleberry will try the left side, gets around the ends, and out of bounds at the 30 behind Arnold. Arnold back to pass, fires to the right side. He's got a man, it's Henderson. Plenty of room, makes a cut, finally taken down deep into Bulldog territory. Gibson in motion. Arnold 
The give is to Appleberry. And he looks to be short. I don't think he got there. Needed to get to the 18, and I'm not sure he got much inside the 19 if he got to the 19 at all. And again, they'll use Storch as a lead blocker, and not much doing for Jalen Adams. He's thrown for 204. Yeah, he's been really good. They have done a good job against him so far, and this is a potential huge play. Ball is loose and finally recovered by the Bulldogs. It was Marquise Blunt with the initial hit on Arnold. And nobody could grab it, but you'll see the pressure up the middle and the hit applied by Blunt knocking the football free. And then the ball was batted around for seemingly forever before it was finally recovered. Webb in motion. And it'll be Adams on the keeper, and he's near the first down. That's so far in this game. Adams back to pass. He is taken down. Raleigh Webb had a touchdown. Everybody thought it was a run to the right. Raleigh Webb had leaked through the middle of the defense. And on the season, as long as 45. Kick is up. It is good. Third and one for the Mox. It's Price. He's got the first down and more. Barrels his way down to the 46. Get into the top of your screen. Arnold. Will be picked off. That's Parrish Gordon. The grad transfer from Old Dominion on the interception for the Bulldogs. Owens wide right. Webb to the left. The pass is to Owens. That's his first catch of the day. Arnold, the pitch to Wallace. He's got some room on the right side. Wallace down to the 35 and out of bounds. 10 yards. The pitch to Wallace. And Joku, the block out in front. And Wallace has the first down for the Bulldogs. Bottom of your screen. Adams back to pass. Scrambling to his left. Running out of room. Stays in bounds. And picks up the first. Boy, we're about to find out. Adams back to pass, steps up, fires to the right side, and it is caught at the one by Raleigh Webb. Oh boy, it's in the end zone falling to the ground, but did he come back out? Boy, I think that's a touchdown. It's a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Raleigh Webb. And we are tied in Charleston. Three minutes of possession for the Citadel in regulation. Wallace in motion. The handoff to Storch. Looks like he has enough for the first down. Tight in. It'll be a sneak from Adams. And he looks to have just enough. We'll see where. Webb in motion. Adams stretches. He's in for the touchdown. Arnold. Here come the Bulldogs. Arnold lofts it for Henderson one on one. He was pulled a bit by Mack, and there's the flag. Wow. We saw the hands on the jersey. Aim on the line. They go to Henderson one on one against Mack. And there was a ton of contact down there. They've let it go for the most part. On the bottom of your screen. Here's the gift to Price. Barrels his way in for the touchdown. Inan is up top. And the pitch to the tight end, Gibson. He's in for the score. Chattanooga with the win. That's an incredible play call by Joe Pizzo and Chattanooga. And we're